Grab your beverage. I'm just gonna have water. I've not drank enough today. I've even been out in the sun. And I've had like coffee and that's basically it. Um, excuse the hair, I need to wash it and I also need to film another video after this. Um, but I've done my brows. I did use my Anastasia Brow Freeze. It's the only thing I have for my brows now. I do really like this, but I have seen the e.l.f. do one as well. So I don't know if any of you guys have tried that, let me know so I don't have to repurchase this one. There is a fair amount of e.l.f. but what I've done is I've got alternatives. So there might be some like Colourpop in here for example, but if you're in the UK I know you can't really get Colourpop unless you order from their website. So I've got a few like alternate products. Um, just to, you know, give you some variety, but I still trust a lot. Um, I think I might actually start off with the face. There isn't much. Or actually, I think we'll get the eyes out of the way. We want to mist my face a little bit and do the primer and then do eyes. Just because I have been out, I did my skincare in the morning before I actually went to the beach. So I'm going to use the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Mist. I really love this. I don't spend a lot on mists anyway, just because... Because I feel like once you know a good mist that's affordable, I feel like you don't need to spend a lot of money. I really do have regret when I bought the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Like, it's nice, but I feel like there are things that you can use that make your skin look exactly the same. This, I really like. You can use it as a primer or to set your makeup as well. So, yeah, I really love this and I love the mist on this as well. It doesn't spit in your face, which is good. And then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I chose this one, I had a few to be honest, like I've got my Milani one which is like the SPF BFF, I love this, probably one of my favourite affordable primers or just favourite primers in general. I do really like that one as well but this one I wanted to go with because for this video specifically, um, obviously this was made after the Milk Power Grip, wait no, this is a Power Grip, Milk Hydro Grip Primer and obviously I'm assuming it was supposed to be an alternative for it, like a dupe, which I think it definitely is. Like, to me it feels exactly the same, but with the milk one, that just didn't go with my skincare, it just didn't go with my foundations, it just didn't go with my skin. Honestly, I was kind of annoyed because that is an expensive primer and I wanted to love it. And a lot of people do, but for me I always had pilling with that. And I have never had that with this one. So yeah, very, very sticky. If you've never seen this primer before, it is like viral. So I'm assuming that most people have heard of it or seen of it. But yeah, this is really, really gonna make your makeup last because literally you can see, look. But everything still spreads evenly and nothing like clings or anything like that. So we're gonna leave the face for now. I think I'm just gonna move on to the eyes. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Bay Eye Primer. I think this is really good, to be honest. I like this one because it's got a color to it. So, oh my God, I've moved my mirror. I've not even had my mirror here this whole time. So for me, with the dark eyelids I have, covers them right up, but also is a good primer as well. Because for me, I always, I know some people use eye primers, some people don't. For me, I do genuinely need them because when I just use concealer, I need it to be set so I can't just use concealer as an eye primer because most of the time it creases and I don't want to be risking that with my eyeshadow. I was going to use these but I feel like I always use these and I feel like whenever it comes to affordable eyeshadow I always go to this option which are the e.l.f. bite sized eyeshadow palettes. These are my favourite affordable eyeshadows 100% like the quality is beyond it is literally like natasha denona level of high-endness in my opinion they are so high quality i love these this is just one i picked out it's the very bad palette i've got pretty much all of them i just don't have maybe like the purple one i think that's blend really nice and the shimmers off oh, the shimmers are my favorite to be honest so i always talk about these and i feel like i've used these quite a lot so i didn't want to use these in today's video but i thought i'd mention it just in case anyone hasn't got these i swear these are like three pound like two or three pound so that was my first option then I wanted to mention the Colourpop palettes because for me they are really good quality and I think that they are quite affordable. I was so upset when I picked this out on my drawer, I haven't used it in a while. Um, but this is, it's very scratched, it's very old, but um, this is the Wild Child palette. This is my favourite palette from Colourpop. It's my most used one for sure. But this shade was like all cracked when I picked it out so 
I gotta be careful with this little baby now. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just got really nice bronzes. Just nice bronzy shades. There's a glitter in there and then there's different kinds of shimmers and then I've got some mattes as well. So I really do, oh, I had eyeshadow. <gasps> it's gone all over me. Oh, there was eyeshadow on my finger. Great. We'll just rub that into my skin. You know, no problems. But yeah, really, oh my God. It's fallen everywhere, so I'm gonna close it, but I'm not gonna use this again I've used this a lot on my channel, but yeah, I love Colourpop palettes. I do Then the two the ones that I'm gonna use I'm gonna mix kind of two together I wanted to do like liquid and then just some like an eyeshadow palette So again, I have used this on my channel before but I feel like nobody talks about these and I feel like they are quite underrated But this is the LA girl keep it playful eye palette and this one is in the shade Keep it playful so it's a neutral palette but these are so good and like the shimmers especially really really nice and foiled i mean you can just tell kind of the quality just from looking at them to be fair they're so creamy so buttery we use the mattes from here and then the elf liquid eyeshadows this one is the only one that i've tried but i love this it's called flirty birdie and it literally looks like that Stila glittery eyeshadow that was at Kitten Karma that like everyone was obsessed with in like 2015, 2016. Alright, I'm gonna take the middle shade. I'm just gonna use it dry. Just... Like, look at that. No spray, no nothing, not even using my finger. All right, and then just gonna take the deeper brown and then just put this in the outer corner. So now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. eyeshadow. Then, I mean, you guys already know, the LA Girl, what are they actually called? The Glide On Gel Liners. These are my favorite eyeliners ever. I haven't used, I haven't tried every eyeliner out there, but these are just such good quality and they're pencil ones as well. They feel like a gel, they're so creamy, they're long lasting. You guys know I use my black one all the time. Let me show you, just in case this is the first video of mine you're watching. Hi, welcome, we love this eyeliner, look at it. And then I'm just gonna put this on my waterline as well. And then for eyeliner, you already know, if you don't, NYX. It's the Epic Ink Liner. I do have the brown one as well, but this is the black one. This, honestly, very user-friendly liner. I wish I hadn't pretty much broke it though. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes like I normally do. And then for mascara, I did pick one. I picked a very natural one, so I'm just gonna have to really layer it up. But I picked, I think it is by e.l.f. actually. I know there is a lot of e.l.f. in this video, but what can I say? They honestly just kill it. So I picked out the elf lash it loud mascara because for me like i do like their big mood mascara which is a volumizing one but for me this one is just there's just something else about this one like this really makes it look like you're wearing false lashes like i cannot with this one in the sense of like natural like little wispy ones uh, i'm obsessed that's basically it for the eyes so moving on to the face we have the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. I still don't have the right shade, but I don't want to like purchase like a new one. I've got the shade Light Medium. Honestly, I think this is the same as the Charlotte Tilbury one. Only difference is I'd say that this has got more coverage, so I guess that could be more beneficial, maybe. Look at that. We are glowy glowy. 
So I'm gonna go in with the Oma Beauty. This is Oma Beauty by Sharon C, which is like the more affordable sister brand of Oma Beauty. And this is the Flawless in, in Real Life IRL. Oh my God. It's the Flawless IRL Skin Perfecting Foundation. Love this, I've talked about this before. It's a perfect everyday foundation, I'd say. For me, this literally just looks flawless. Like honestly, this is this is honestly one of my favorite like affordable foundations. It is so natural, but I feel like it, it's got really good buildable coverage that you could put like the lightest layer and you can still see a peak, still see your skin peeking through. Or like I did about two pumps, I did two and a bit pumps. So I put more on purposely so you can see honestly how flawless this makes your skin look but it just looks like skin as well like it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't look heavy whatsoever it lasts really well throughout the day as well i am absolutely obsessed with this and i'm pretty sure this this foundation is like 12 pound look at that okay then concealer it has to be this this is the collection lasting perfection concealer i have loved this for literal years honestly Look how flawless that looks. It's full coverage, lightweight, it lasts forever. Look at that. This is honestly, for me, this is probably the most comparable concealer to Tarte Shape Tape. Or oh, to be fair, I don't know if I prefer this. I think I might actually prefer this because this one is like a bit more hydrating, I think. For cream bronzer, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do cream, blush, bronzer, and then I'm gonna do powder of each. Bronzer wise, I have two options here. So the e.l.f. Luminous Putty Bronzers, I'm obsessed with these. I really like the formula of the putties, but for me, I prefer the luminous one. One, because I like a glow, and then also, I prefer the shade range for the luminous ones a bit more. For me, the matte ones, they didn't have the shades like right. This one, I love. I use Summer Fridays in this one. So I've got that. And then I've also got the Soul Body Face and Body Bronzing Balm. This is like, oop. this is like Colourpop's sister brand. I have used this recently, I think. Um, but I've used a lot of, I've used a lot, a lot, a lot of elf so i'm gonna use this one today this one's in the shade medium i'm gonna do the tiniest bit because this is very very pigmented and i could definitely do with a lighter shade i think of this but it looked so much lighter on the website so i yeah, uh, the website did me wrong there it smells so good it smells like coconut and apparently this is supposed to be like a dupe for that chanel cream bronzer you know the literally the one that looks like this um which I've never tried. Because one, thanks. <laughs> Chanel, I don't know if I could ever afford Chanel. And two, pretty sure they test on animals. I'm assuming they do. I love this because this gives a nice healthy glow as well. I can't wait to shower. Like I'm gonna have my everything shower. Usually I dread it, but I'm gonna shave my face as well. And I know how good I feel after I shave my face. And then I get to do makeup later again. Uh, what a good day for me, what a good day for me. Then for cream, blush, again, I've got options. Oh, also, sorry, my mistake. When we talk about eyeshadow, also these are absolute gems. They're like literally two pound each. The Essence Soft, tu Soft Touch Eyeshadows. This one's my favorite, it's called Cookie Jar. Obsessed, it's the most beautiful, literally just watch this. It's so buttery soft, like look at that. Look how metallic that is. And this is literally a two pound eyeshadow. Run to your nearest Wilco if you're in the UK and pick one up because they are honestly two pound, like two pound. Okay. Moving on to blush. Like I said, I've got two options here. So again, elf, they just do it for me, honestly. They're luminous putty blushes, they also have like the regular ones as well. I prefer the luminous ones personally and this is my favourite shade, this one's called Maui. And then I also really love the Flower Beauty liquid blushes as well. 
This is probably my favorite shade. This one is cinnamon. So that's what I'm gonna use today. And take a little bit here and then just like dab it out on my hand like that, just to get less pigment. But these, I feel like they look scary like that. But as soon as you put it on, they are so buildable. They're quite sheer to be honest. And they give a really nice glow as you can see. So I'm just gonna do it on this side. For powders, I'm gonna go in with one of each. I'm gonna go in with a pressed and a loose. I forget which way round people do it. I think they do this first. For pressed powder, I'm going with the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder. This is such a nice, this is such a natural loose powder. Pressed powder, sorry. So I'm just going to take a bit. But this is really good at brightening the under eyes. I'll do one side first and then you can see the difference. So I'm just going to do it lightly first just with this brush. This is just a real technique setting brush. And you can see the difference immediately. Look at the under eyes. So much brighter. Look at that. And then we're going to go in with one of my favourite loose powders ever. This is the Juvia's Place loose powder. And I am going to take my little essence powder puff. By the way, this is affordable and I love this as well. It definitely needs a clean, for sure. I've been using a coloured pressed powder, that's why it's this colour. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's so soft and I love just under my eyes. Honestly, this powder really does blur your skin. I don't know if it claims to, honestly, but it blurs your skin. Nice and bright, nice and bright. So I'm gonna let that sit for a second while I just do powder, bronzer, and blush. So for powder bronzer, I picked the Barry M Island Heat Wave Powder Bronzer. These are so underrated. I feel like I haven't heard anyone talk about these, but I've also got the blush. I really like the blushes as well. These are really, really good quality. For me, again, Barium is one of those brands where it is kind of hit and miss. These are definitely a hit. I'm obsessed with these. The formula of these are so, so soft and creamy. Same with the blushes as well. So smooth and they blend really nicely. So I'm just gonna use this just to add a bit more definition, as you can see. So I'm gonna spritz my face again. Sorry, my bad. Um, yeah, it's Barry M. I don't think I picked another one. Yeah, they're heat wave blushes. Um, they have, oh, here we go. I have two shades that they did send me. I think they've got another one, um, but these are the two that I've got here. I love them both and these smell like chocolate. Don't get why the bronzers don't, but I'll put a bit of this lighter one. This one's called Sunray and this one's called Paradise. So chunky glitter. Just gives a really nice sheen. But I feel like just because this look is quite neutral, we'll go with this one. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe highlight. This is one of my favorites. Like I haven't used it in a while because I just don't use highlight. But yeah, this is the shade Spark. It's more like a pinky one. I feel like this goes with the eye look perfectly. Lip liners, I've got two options. I recommend both, like I love them so much, but just for looking at the state of this, you know these are my favourite. These are the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners. They are the pencil ones and the they are the wooden pencil ones. These are great. Like these are probably my favourite. This, well, this specifically is my favourite lip liner ever. It's the shade Cafe. I've got a backup of it and then after that I need to really find LA Girl somewhere. Because, oh, why does the lighting go so nice as soon as I'm about to finish filming? Typical, absolutely typical, isn't it? Anyway, yeah, this is the shade Cafe. So perfect, it's like my perfect nude. All right, and then for lipsticks, again, I was kind of torn because I do really love the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, but they are, and the shade London goes with this lip liner really well. So that is a good lipstick option that I didn't actually put in here. And then another lip liner option, this is the NYX Line Loud Lip Liners. I only have one of them, but this shade, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. This is the shade Global Citizen. I wear this all the time. But for lipsticks, I have to go with my favourites. These are the Milani. I think it's Colour Fetish 
lipsticks. I think they've all got weird names, um, like Pleasure. <laughs> this one's called Pleasure, this one's called Tease. Tease is my favourite, it goes with this. This is more of the brownie one, but I do really like Pleasure as well because it's a nice pink. Like, look at that. Actually, that does... Actually, I'm gonna go with Pleasure. I think this one goes with the... the eyes a bit more. Look, they're so, so creamy, so soft. I love the packaging. They feel expensive, they really do. Always, always. The Essence Extreme Shine Volume Lip Gloss, just the clear one. It feels like a lip oil. Guys, it feels like lip oil. Like, literally, just look. It smells like sweets. Look at that. So that is it guys, this is the finished makeup look. Honestly, you wouldn't think most of this is drugstore, but it is. So thank you so much for joining me, let me know what you think of the makeup look. I know it's very neutral, very simple, very me, but what are you going to do? And let me know if you've tried any of these, if there's anything that is screaming your name, let me know what it is. And yeah, thank you as always for watching and joining with me, let me know any of the videos you want me to do, and I'll see you in my next video.